And then we move on to the last uh, uh, area, which is uh, Perthes disease, uh, nine-year-old male, painless, limping, favoring the left leg. His uh, symptoms began six months ago, have been progressively wor worsening. He has nearly full abduction, so again, that, that difference that where they're giving you the physical exam to help you uh, figure out what this is, uh, which is Perthes when they when they say that, and then uh, I think you all have answered the question, but um, what they want you to be able to uh, to pick up is the degree of involvement uh, of the femoral head of the physis, uh, particularly the lateral uh, column um, and the uh, degree of extrusion and uh, you know the 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 answer is related to the fact that this is relatively uh, late stage uh, Perthes with um, lateral pillar group B and uh, density changes of collapse of the femoral head. So this is one that would uh, be treated not with bracing, not with aspiration, not with core decompression, but with a femoral or pelvic osteotomy intended to improve the coverage. Um, So uh, it is idiopathic AVN, four to eight years, the most common. It's important to know that males to females, five to one ratio. Remember that. Bilateral in a relatively uh, small amount, 12%. And risk factors, uh, low birth weight, a positive family, family history, uh, abnormal uh, birth presentation, secondhand smoke. These are lesser uh, risk factors but you want to have seen them. Uh, the pathoanatomy, a disruption of the vascular supply, um, and a link with abnormal clotting factors. And so I, I suppose if you operate uh, on a patient uh, later in life who's had Perthes disease, uh, you need to know that uh, thrombophilia is a potential risk factor in 50% of the cases. So uh, I can see a question coming from that. Um, the uh, prognostic variables, age, as we talked about, the degree of sphericity of the femoral head and congruency, how much uh, lateral extrusion of the head there is over the acetabulum, the bad prognosis um, uh, or age, female sex, uh, stiffness with uh, progressive loss of range of motion. Good prognosis, younger age, so less than six, and preservation of range of motion. Um, Long-term studies uh, show the patients do well until the fifth and sixth de decade. So you might see a question on wh when the timing of, uh, of total hips. Uh, often it's done earlier than perhaps uh, it needs to be. Um, and I think you probably, this, the Waldenstrom uh, stages, uh, Probably worth reading. I don't think you're going to see much about that. Uh, the herring classification for the pillar and the significance of uh, collapse of the lateral uh, pillar in uh, in group B and C uh, patients uh, associated with poor outcomes. Um, and just know that it's the, one of the more commonly used classifications because of the intra-observer uh, agreement. Catterall classification, I think most of you are, are familiar with, and the risk signs, calcification, lateral subluxation, horizontal proximal physis and a metaphyseal cyst, as well as gauges sign. Uh, I think maybe you could see that. Uh, Stuhlberg classification for the degree of roundness and, and conformity, con congruence, uh, maybe less uh, important. Um, and know that uh, painless limp and intermittent hip, knee, groin, or thigh pain is something that should be considered in a young child. Trendelenburg gait and internal rotation. Um, the imaging, uh, medial joint space widening, as we talked about, and a crescent sign, just like in, in adult osteonecrosis. Um, and the treatment, uh, I, th I think, uh, is is geared towards femoral head containment. I think we all learned that in pediatrics. And uh, if you can do it with bracing and non-operative means, great. If you can't, uh, you have to use uh, an osteotomy. And that's either a proximal femoral varus osteotomy 
or some sort of pelvic osteotomy, whether it's a SALT or a triple, DEGA or Pemberton. Um, and I think they're showing increased, uh, Im uh, Im improved outcomes in patients who had osteotomy with significant lateral pillar B and C uh, cases and, and uh, greater age of the patient. I think the, uh, we've already discussed the um, uh, types of osteotomies uh, and uh, the salvage osteotomy. So I'm going to end and uh, turn this over to Bo Mason. Um. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.